Hello everybody, my name is Sunset, and welcome to the fourth episode of the Cutting Edge Podcast. I'm here with my guest, Quiet Barry. How you doing today, Quiet? Uh, I'm doing alright, how about you? Well, I'm doing fine. Just got from, uh, just got back from a week's break. Sorry for the delay, everyone. Let's, uh, go ahead and get into the questions. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Quiet Barry is one of the, well, one of my favorite players of all time and a good friend of mine, and is a winner of my Cutting Edge Series Tournament Series, which, uh, the second champion ever. So, we have a couple of questions running up, and the first one is, uh, the general opinion on Black Magic 2 in its current state. Uh, somewhat enjoyable, I guess you can say. Uh, so, basically what I mean is, you're not going to have a nice day playing the game, but then there's the moment where you go. Yeah, that's basically that's basically what I mean. Okay, uh, have there been any uh, interactions with different classes, or how do you think they, they uh, how you would fight one another, or have there been any changes that you would like to see in the future? Karai SP6 doesn't kill at 1%. That's one of the main changes I want to see. It's the same thing for Ava SP6. I'm pretty sure. Um, for class interactions, they really need to fix a silent versus Karai, because a silent basically stands no chance if they... If you fight a good Karai, the asylum stands no fucking chance. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, for Revenant, fix its scaling. Tone it down a bit, maybe fix the hitboxes a bit. Virtue, well, the rework is coming in. Sounds good. Alright oh, then. For Citadel. Citadel. Keep it the way it is, it's fine. Anything else you want me to say? Oh, well, uh, for those of you who, knew, who know who Quiet is, uh, your time with playing Revenant, uh, do you agree with many of the complaints about the class, or do you think that everything should just stay where it is? <laughs> Fuck yes, I agree with it. Um, so basically, abusing bullshit with uh, Revenant, basically, is like playing with fire and... Well, how do I say this? Well, if I could uh, stop you right there. In a good way. Some of the complaints yeah. about um, that that of the people against the Revenant nerf is that without the main tools like uh, say SP two's hit stun or SP one's uh, aerial hit stun, or the fact that if you just take away the, the ability to combo off of aerial SP one or decrease the hitbox of Revenant, uh, people say that actually would be the worst class in the game, even though. It would still lead in damage, and it would still be, mob, and it would still have a lot of mobility options. So, 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 what do you think about those opinions? I'd say they're very, they're in the right, but also I wouldn't think they would that revenant would be the worst class in the game if those changes did happen. A good revenant would just adapt, basically, adapt and learn how to, basically play revenant all over again. But yeah. Basically. If you have nothing more to say about the generalization of the game, I'm going to go ahead and move on to our next question. Sounds good to me. And that will be the uh, the topic of uh, BM2 YouTubing and what is your favorite content of Black Magic 2 to see on YouTube? I'd say your weekly highlights were a very, very big part of the YouTube content. And Jakesy, Jakesy as well. His montages are also very good. Impranked, I wouldn't say I click with him, but yeah. You two, uh, you and Jakesy have this sort of style that I really like to see in Blackmagic uh, content creation. I mean, me, it's me, very... me, and, me and JC just put some clips over some music. The reason why, it, well, the reason why imprints, imprints, 
got more, probably got more subscri subscribers than the both of us combined is because, well, he's, he's got a lot of charisma. He can make jokes on the fly, and he interacts with his fan base a lot. He streams, he streams on the daily as well. He's also generally, and Prince is also generally a, just a chill person to hang around with, but I just don't think I click with him, unlike with you and Jake Sue. Yeah. And on another topic for the people watching, uh, WD40 is about to hit 1,000 subscribers, so congratulations to him when that happens. <laughs> yeah, I see him. And, um,. That's good to, um, while we're on the topic, please like and subscribe because we are getting close to 900 subscribers. And same as WD, I will be doing a Q&A video. Right, so do you have a, do you have sort of a favorite video from, uh, Jack C or my or Imprank's channel? Hmm. The ones I were in. The, um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the new Midnight Horrors one that he just posted like a couple of days ago. Uh, I like that one. It was funny. Your weekly highlights, I think it was nine. That one was a good one. I really enjoyed it. Uh, weekly highlights nine. Uh, was that the one where I did the mega compilation? Yeah, I think so. Yes. Uh, just, uh, I just, I uh, just felt like that one wasn't as powerful as the others. And the reason for that was I didn't have a lot of high quality clips, so I tried to stuff a lot of clips into uh, into one big video that were good but wouldn't warrant themselves a place in a normal highlights video. Yeah. Because for my subscribers, I want to give them the best of the best. I can see. I can understand that. Yeah, it was nice. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, got a. Uh, well, actually, well, while while I take um a short a short break for because I gotta run a run, run run do some for a couple minutes. Uh, if you could tell the audience any 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 funny stories with Black Magic Two or anything interesting that happened over the past few months or from quarantine. A story from quarantine. Yeah, I'll be off the mic for a few seconds. Uh, just tell the audience at home anything that happened. <laughs> I don't know how to entertain the audience. A story. Well, my PC currently is currently fried. Can't play at all. <sighs> Funny story behind it. Parents tried downloading something. Something boom, and then PC is dead. Can't do shit. Probably won't be able to do anything soon. That sucks. Very sad moment. Um, I'll probably be getting. I'll probably be getting a new PC soon. Around maybe Saturday next week. So if you see me around, then that works. All right, I am back. back. Now we can move on to the next question, which is gotta pull it up first. Uh, what are the one of the some of the Roblox games that other than Black Magic Two that you've been playing recently, and which would you recommend to the audience? Midnight Horrors, for sure. Uh, it's a horror survival game where you have to basically sir, run away from the killer every round. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I remember playing that with uh, Baka and a lot of other people. Yeah, everyone in Viking Village plays that. It's pretty fun. Um, another game, I would say, is Horrific Housing. It's just a bunch of mini games where you have to be the last one alive. But the one I would mostly recommend is Midnight. Yes. Uh, 
Next question would be... Uh, the talk of, uh, I want your opinion on the rumors of some updates or some of the changes that are going to be added to the game, like the Virtue and Curai we work. Mm, my thoughts on it? Yes. Um, for the Curai rumor, I haven't really heard much. All I heard is gonna, it said at a specified date, unspecified date. And the rework for Virtue is definitely going to come out with the ranked update where all the skins and stuff come out with the rank. I'm pretty sure they're going to fix ranked uh, with the update too, which is the big one. Now, some people including me... Other than that, uh, go, go for it. Uh, some people including me, I, I'm, I, I'm, gu I'm guilty of this too, uh, criticized uh, the choice for the developers to go ahead and make an event with putting time into the map and the ARPG sorry the ARG and just making all the classes uh, have newer skins flare them up a bit but people criticize them for trying to pretty up the game and not actually fixing the code which is for ranked, but <clears throat> uh, Budori told me uh, a couple days ago is that they are still trying to find out what causes uh, ranked arenas to break. So again, I'm guilty of that, and and I understand that on the podcast I did before with Budori, uh, the game developers do have to take their time, they have their own lives, so it's best to not rush them for anything. But they knew what they were getting into when they started the development in the game. They can't just hold off on updates for years. Well, not years. The last class we got was... A year ago? <laughs> yep, a year ago. Uh, I'd say we get a new class around six months from now. That's my guess. Maybe closer, but uh, that's my guess. Um, and... Yeah, because by them trying to fix the game, I'll go for it. I'd say that the people who play BM2 right now consist currently of the new folks who are trying to fit in and the loyalists. Uh, the, the yeah, you know, from people who are experienced with the game and are still hoping for some to come, and the people who are new spend about a week playing it and then. Because those, uh, I, I, I feel like those players are just thrill junkies, basically, just trying to find a new game that they could either get into yeah. or find a community, or they would think it was a game where they had to grind, get set, and don't go, and then go back to Grand Peace again. <laughs> those yeah, uh, people, saying, you, you, you know, there had to be one or two people who thought that. Sadly, I can't be playing Black Magic right now, as I told them earlier when you were gone. No, about the PC? Yeah, my shit's been boom. Well, I hope you get it fixed. Well, I hope you get it fixed. Yeah, I hope you get it at least yeah. fixed soon. Yeah, because I'm actually hoping to go into your 2v2, but if I don't get it in, like, in a span of a week, I probably won't be able to. Uh, I believe you were going to say something before I, uh, again, and again, sorry for interrupted you, but what is it that you were going to say? Oh, I was going to say I was hoping to get into your 2v2 tournament if I get my PC in a span of a week. Oh, okay, all right. Right, next... Yeah. All right, next question. God damn, these are going by fast. Uh, uh, what do you think right now is the worst Roblox trend or the worst type of game that is currently getting or is already popular? The 
worst trend right now is the Gucci, the Gucci promotional, the Gucci Garden or whatever. They yeah, have right that now. confuses me greatly. <laughs> like, I'm surprised that's, that they didn't the give five million suits with all the with all the clothing bot groups just constantly, constantly smearing Gucci's logo all over the place. Exactly. Uh, the game right now, and last time I checked, I had like I don't know five million dislikes around there. I'm going. To, I haven't played it. I haven't played it yet because I was, because 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 of my uh yeah because because I took a week off. I'm going. I'm going to have to play it. We, or or if you haven't played played it, then we can we can share the experience together. Uh, the Gucci Garden. It has. Oh my god, the ratio on it is 30% uh, upvotes and 70%... Literally ratioed? Goddamn. <laughs> like, uh, uh, was, was there any videos of it? Is it just some lobby to hang out in? Or is there some sort of mini games? Because if so, at least it would be kind of worth it to hop on there. It's just literally walking around. That's all you do. Mm. They promote their clothings and shit for, to children that can't even buy the clothing. <laughs> just l l little Timmy just sees she sees like a bag that's worth like two thousand dollars or something, and then and then like mom, mom, I want to buy this, and and she's like. <laughs> Okay. What the fuck are you asking? All right. <laughs> I'm just gonna gonna have you trip to Goodwill and lecture you on being thankful for things for about two hours. I'll get you a bag for ten bucks. Like I get what they're trying yeah, to promote because they because they can actually make virtual Gucci products and maybe. That's what they're advertising and not their brand to people who obviously can't buy them. <laughs> That's what I don't understand. And also it's the... Bringing a lot of the music artists and them going, you know, public with stocks and whatnot. Like, I, I support them being a, being a public company and all, but... Bring in music artists, like, I feel like that has to be something that's not done all the time, or it needs to be regulated. Yeah, I or at you. least, or at least fixed. Or at least it should be goddamn fixed. Because, remember the, remember the little Nas one? About how his VR character Dude, model I was... Tried joining that. About how, <laughs> how his VR model was just glitching all over the place, and was losing, and had lost all the textures and the colors. Yeah. It just, what the hell was joining, that? It just, he just stood there teeth posing. He couldn't, couldn't even see the event. I mean, thank God, like, on his actual YouTube channel, he posted what it could have looked like. <laughs> the expectations versus reality. I, I don't know why they just didn't do with that, with those, uh, with the people who were in the block sees and that other punk rock girl that I'm pretty sure everyone forgot two minutes after they saw her. And now they're doing something with Zara Larson. It was, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? I, I I don't know I don't know what the hell they're doing with I don't know what the hell they're doing with her show, but it should probably be the same thing that they did for the Bloxy Awards, just make it so it's a video or like a preset animation because doing the thing where they did with Lil Nas where it's just a VR VR full body motion camera like, one, somebody's computer has to be advanced enough to render all that and make sure it happens all fluidly. And secondly, well, I actually only need the first reason. <laughs> yeah, I get where you're coming from. Uh, okay, well, okay uh, apart from the... Apart from the Gucci elephant in the room, what are what are what are some other game trends that are do you think are bad for the platform right now? The bad for the platform. What other event is going? Because I feel like last year was all about you know, copy and pasted simulator titles all over the place. Maybe it was two years in a row that we got 
all those simu all those all those grind fests that copied a lot of the things we're seeing in you know the big business AAA studios that well since they obviously worked you know two bit developer oh, yeah. like two big greenhorn developers are now shifting their focus to theirs because one it's very easy to make a game where numbers go up and two it's addictive very addictive there's also the metaverse champions one still going on right I don't know if that's um, still a thing. It's still on their website, but I'm th but I thought it ended like a week ago. Like that's not bad. I'd say that's the same as like some of the ones we some of the events we got in the past where you have to collect the we have to collect certain pieces of gear to get this big reward at the end, like for the Ready Player One event. Yeah, but only one person got the dominus for the. Ready player one thing. But I feel like it shouldn't. It? But I feel like those events, when they're implemented, the games shouldn't have to have their own section. Because I remember all the way back in, I think it was 20, 20, 2014, I think. Uh, when they had the Ultimate Championship. Oh, yeah. Uh, the. Uh, the prizes for those games, like, they were just dropped into there, like, like, if you get a kill or randomly spawn or in this certain game mode, it can show up anywhere around the map, like, like, those were fun, and they, and they didn't have to, have to, force it. you just, just have to force in, if, just have to force in, like, this little thing where they have to create, like, just yeah. ease it into the gameplay, because that way nobody complain about it. And the stuff so that's already created. Get just casually. I, 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 I don't know. That's just me voicing my opinion. And, everybody, and I get a lot of people like some of the mini games and some of the sections that I put in there. But I, I just feel like it was a, I just feel like it was a lot more engaging if it was just a part of the gameplay and not its own separate thing. Yeah, I get you. Or some, or or some, or some of the Roblox event games, like for Wonder Woman eighty four. I don't blame you. Most people did. <laughs> it was such a big fail that I just forgot about it. It's because those things are made hastily, and it's not like it's too fast. And it's and it's and it's not like the because I remember before egg hunts were like just. Kind of just like, hey, we're doing this now, yay! Like they were actually full full fledged game titles with like popular developers working on them. But then they took away that, and then the big people, the big people at the Roblox CEO building decided to decided to just hire the hire the basic programmers and you know event coordinators to make their own version of the games. And I feel like that's where they're not really that fun. They just... Well, obviously, it's directed towards kids. I get that. So they don't try to make it too difficult or too... <clears throat> or too overwhelming for people. Yeah, yeah, and, I, people and again... About, like, in the Metaverse event, the, some of the games were too easy to get. And, and again... Uh, some of the chests... I probably come from the side that has, you know, played Roblox for a long time and, you know, we, we, we like, we don't really, uh, like, uh, per se, we've gotten older and we've naturally gone to the games where we've played the games that have, you know, grown up with us. Yeah, I get you. Like, more complicated games like The Conquerors or this game or something like Eclipsis. Arcane Adventures. That game was the bomb back then. Do you remember Arcane Adventures? Yeah, I remember. I got yeah, I got I got max level and everything. <laughs> level one thousand.
Uh, next question, if you don't have anything to add. Yeah. I'm gonna pull it up real quick. Uh, how do you feel about the uh, Black Magic 2 uh, community at this point? Like, the player base? The player base? I'd say there's the good apples and then there's the bad apples. But overall, the, co the community is very fun to hang around, but then it just gets really heated sometimes. Okay, uh, uh, since this uh, show is all about entertainment and not solidity, uh, how about you... Uh, if if you if you want to explain some of the bad apples, <laughs> uh, how do I say this? Do you remember Olive, um, a master EU player? I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, master um, EU player. Oliver. Olive. Olive. Uh, here, hold on. I'll send you his name. No, his name is Oliver One Two Three Mister DDD. His name is Mister DDD no, in my Discord. Like no, 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 not Oliver. Olive. Some shit like that. I sent you his name. He's a EU master player. Oh. Uh, 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 um, why, why, why would I think Oliver? He's US. <laughs> yeah. Um, so basically, so he was talking a load of shit like how master rings in uh, basically US were dog shit, absolute putrid shit. Well, kind so, of, because everyone over there has about 200 milliseconds of ping when they're fighting him. Yeah, exactly. So then Bakalo confronted him about it, and he said if he wants to run a 1 to 10, or not 1 to 10, uh, 10, best of 10. First to 10, yeah. <laughs> so Bakalo went over there to his server first, uh, did like one or two matches. Bakalo lost the first one, like, really close. He almost killed him. He won the second one. And then they switched to U.S. Bakalo did not lose once. Did not lose once. That was the funniest shit ever. And to to put the cherry on top, Olive left every single community because of the humiliation he just suffered. I think he's still in one, but I don't know which one it is. Yo, yo, if there's a chance you could get him in our server, I would 100% do an interview with him. <laughs> his experience. Um, yeah, we have to know firsthand. One. Also, because I, I already did a podcast with Bacalo. Yeah. Um, another one. I forgot what's his name. Yeah. Like EU players are a mystery to me, man. Like, if you looked at if you look at like someone like Forchester who is a crazy ass who made a 593 assailant combo. Oh my god. And some of the other ones like uh do you remember it's this it's this guy who comments in a lot of my vi or who used to comment in a lot of my videos who is apparently really good but I don't know his name right now. Um what's his name? I don't remember either. I seen him in your comment sections. Started with an A I think. But yeah, I, I get what you're trying to say. Yeah, basically, I feel like European players, in some terms, are stronger than U.S. players just because of the insane clips we've seen of them on, on other channels. But you know, ping differentials and the fact that Roblox and the fact that Roblox servers aren't rollback uh, makes it difficult. Yeah, I get it. All right, back to if you were if you were gonna quote unquote call out call out the bad apples. Um, let me see if I can find another one because I I try to forget some things. Oh, Profeta, 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 Profeta one or Epic Chat Box or whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm I, at least I'm familiar with Profeta. He was he was he was that Q he was that he was he was that he was that one Q Ryan ranked. Uh yeah, Profeta one he was that one kid that followed me, Bonkolo, anyone above Diamond rank. He just followed everyone, stalked the servers. Yeah. 
uh, Vulcan and X called him out for all the shit he was doing, and I'm pretty sure he got perma banned. Now I'm not a uh, I'm not always in Bacalo server. Uh, did, did 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 that happen in Bacalo server? Yeah, it did. It happened in there, and that motherfucker got flamed, and then he got banned out of everything. Uh, let me see if I have another one, because most of these people in chat room are really cool. I mean, one 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 person I hate, and it's it's kind of it, it and it's not for anything else, just because he's it, it's stove man. I hate stove. He's just so good all the time. Stove is chill. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I hate him, girl. He ruins everything. He's, if you tell him to stop, he stops. <laughs> I, I, I get it, man, but he still ruins everything. Like, he he always catches me out of the blue, and when I try to chase him down, he always runs around things. Man, I hate him. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Man. Stuff can be like that. Uh, uh, okay, okay, but y yeah, JK, he's actually a pretty good player. find anyone else but that's all those all the bad apples I can name out of my head top of my head Vimo cat uh Vimo kid or Vimo remember kid? remember rem remember him <laughs> somewhat I've only seen him like three times yeah he 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 dm'd me he dm'd me a couple a couple days ago just out of the blue I thought he was drunk or something because he just kept posting a lot of random images. But you know, I I have nothing against the guy apart from when he kept interrupting my damn fights, or or yeah. or, or seen if the crafter, dude. Apparently, like I'm I'm alright with the guy, and I fought him loads of time as a ranked. I won I won most of the time, obviously. But man, apparently people hate his ass. Oh yeah, Vimo. No, Cenus. Uh, oh, Cenus. Yeah, I just <laughs> just moved on from Vimo. My bad, my bad. Um, he, he, they always said he was too, he, like he was too annoying, and he raised a lot, and and again. Um, he, he I, and he's admitted to being like ten or eleven years old or something, uh, which is a impressive because he actually plays Rev decently enough. But B, really though, <laughs> I doubt it. Um, Dovella. I'm pretty Do sure she's one. Dovella. I think yeah. I fought Dovella a couple times. In a public server. Yeah, I fought Dovella. I fought Dovella, obliterate her, obliterated her with her and her simps. She always has two people around her at all times. One time I couldn't take it, I just called in the Vikings, and the Vikings helped me, and we obliterated them. Okay, yeah, wait, what do you mean called in? Y'all like a SWAT team now? Uh, basically, so we have this role thing. If, basically, if someone is having trouble with teamers or any just any retard that just teams on you, you ping the role Viking, uh, Viking Village. You call in everyone to help. Mm, I... Yeah, you just okay. That sounds kind of scary <laughs> for the for the person you're calling it up on. <laughs> exactly. When so there was like six, um, I think it was just me and her and her three simps, two simps, my bad. So it was like four out of four in the server, or no, four out of eight, and the server spots just filled in in like two seconds when I pinged the roll. I was like, well, yep, you messed with the wrong people, I guess. <sighs> well, yeah. That's all I got. Alright then. Uh, move on to the next question. 
pull it up. What up? Uh, actually, uh, that was actually that was apparently that was apparently all the questions. That was all of them. All right. Well, well, the, well, these things usually go on for longer. But if you want to ask, uh, well, if you want to ask me any questions, you can do so. Um, fuck, how hard was it you to reach Diamond? I would, I didn't think it would take you this long. It took you, like, I don't know, ten episodes? If you did it with a sailor, you would know. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ranked is a hell on earth full of Kurai's revenants and sweaty virtue and Avalon players. The virtues are tolerable. The Avas are just running around. Just be good at the game. <laughs> because I would... And because, the, like, like, there is a... Like, th there is a popular, like, number thing in Ranked from, from like, 2,200 2, to 2,500, like, which is the dead zone. Like, that's where, like, most gold rank players are stuck there in Purgatory. Like, yeah. you go up past 500, and then somebody uses some bullshit, or, or or actually really good, and you plummet down, like, three losses in a row to other people. And that happened for, like, four months! Until, like that, until, yeah, until, for two days in a row after taking a week break, I just sat there, and I didn't... And I didn't stop until I got until I got diamond. Also partly, also partly because uh, even though even though you guys didn't see it on the montage because some of the fights were boring. Uh, uh, Crafty Ben, uh, the uh, the game parted me up with Crafty Ben even though I was trying to get some of the other gold players, and I felt bad for him because I kind of out neutraled his assailant every time. <laughs> And I was just feeding Rank off him when I really didn't want to. Mm, free love. Mm. <laughs> um. All right, one more. Oh, I, uh, I, I, I was, I was, I was still gonna. I was, I was still gonna talk about another thing. Oh, you were gonna keep going? Go for it. Yeah. Go for it. And when I finally got it, I, and w and when I was spectating such in chat room about. About how ranked, and it was when I was debating what kind of content I would use because, you know, for the high, because when rank came out, when I, I released part seven for the highlights, you know, it was something I could work towards, and it was places where I could get fights all the time, and make content out of it. But once that was over, uh, you do you know who hero from chat room? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. The dudes. Like the dude's incessantly power hungry mad over ELO. And and lots of people were joking about making make, making alts and stealing all of his ELO. But that's kinda against the rules. You just do a little trolling. Do an adequate amount of trolling. Okay, I was kind of contemplating how fast I can get to master on and all, but then I kind of noticed that was against the rules. Yeah. I remember Bacalo said to me that it's not worth it when describing getting, getting master. <laughs> it really isn't, man. It's just torture. Yeah, because the only way you can move up even substantially in math... And master rank is to fight diamond ranks. Yeah, but those don't exist because they're trying. To yeah, all of them guns. fucked up somewhere else. <laughs> exactly. And I just joined rank servers there, and I just joined rank servers today just to watch. And I see lots of my friends like Nyast and some of the other folks like Milky Way YouTube. And just they keep yeah. and they, and just they keep going, man. And they either complain about the arenas being broken, people getting in before they do, 
or when they finally get into the match, they get out neutral the hell out of each other and and lose a bit of ELO in the process. And again, staying within the dead zone. <laughs> yeah. It's called the circle of life. The circle of life for mediocre players. I mean, nice is going to come after you for that one. I can take him. <laughs> I'm contemplating I'm just staying up 12 hours when I get my PC just so I can unrest. That, that sounds like pe that sounds like pent up frustration rather than ooh boy my computer's fixed now I can play on it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh and you had one more question to ask me. Um what do you see yourself in the future on YouTube? Oh, well, I would, uh, I would probably annu announce to people that, like, in some time, like, within, like, if there's nothing by August or September about Black Magic 2, then I'd probably just say that I'm going to be making content on other games and not specifically about Black Magic 2. I still make content about Black Magic 2. But I would branch out more often to other titles because that's just not realistic playing a game that hasn't had anything new and is like having a slowly downward hill of losing players. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, that's understandable. And again, my audience and again my my audience is growing. And if I just still and I still have the format I would have, just making montage clips and making funny videos here and there. Then yeah, that's something I could. Die out. Yeah, that's 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 something I could do. Well, yep. That's all I got. Well, I guess that'll be it. Uh, you're officially the person who has the shortest podcast on my channel. Let's fucking go. Congratulations. Yes. How long is it? Like forty minutes. Uh, forty-two. You're actually close. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed this episode of the Cutting Edge Podcast. Remember to subscribe and like, and comment on down below who you want to see next. And I will see you all later in the next episode. Bye, baby, part two. <laughs>